Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Droid Tips and in this video we're going to talk about best some of iOS launcher which can be used on your Android. So two best iOS launcher you can be used on your Android device. So the first one that I would like to add up over here is it's nothing but it's launcher iOS 70. So this is available in the Google Play Store. You can download this and this is one among the best one. So you first you have to download this and once you download with it, you just have to click on the open. And this is how it looks like. As you can see, you can see many things over here. The same way, if you go back, this is how the Android phones looks like. So even if you check on the icons, you can see this, all these icons exactly looks like the same as as it of in the iPhone. And even if you go to the settings, even the settings uh, profile looks like it's the same. And if you go to the settings, you can see right now it is an Android. But apart from this, if you look at the outside version of it, you can see even all the apps are all the way it's been uh, implemented is correctly same as it is of the iOS 70. And apart from this, there are many options. If you go over here, you can see, you can uh, having the options to add some of the things. You can see all these things. And if you can go for the edit, you have to tap on the edit. So we have two options. Either you can remove as this minus icon represent the remove, which is the basic one. There is no need of explaining this. But if you tap on the plus icon, if you tap over here on the plus icon, you can see that we can add many more things like battery icon can be added, photos can be added, and even the weather conditions can be added, even the alarms and many things can be added. So this is what exactly looks like in the IO 70. So I'm going to add this widget. So you can very easily add the widget and right now the battery is added and it is representing we are having 83% without any fault. Apart from this, if you go back, to this, if you go back over here, we can see that you can even go to the app library where this looks same as it is of in the iOS 17 and it looks very really fantastic over here. And it is all good to go with this. You can even navigate to, to all these kind of things. And also if you wanted to delete something, you can do the same way as you're doing it in, in the iOS 17. We can be done over here. So you can just press and hold like this. So you get the option same as in iOS 17. You can go over here and you can go to the remove app. You can remove it completely. And this is how you can do this app. So this is the one among the launcher which can be done. And there is few more, uh, one more launcher which I'm going to show you. The next launcher is iOS launcher. So this is also a good one. That is why I'm recommending you guys. We can even go to the open. So this is available in the Play Store as it is. Right now in the iOS launcher, this is how it looks like. This is also in the same way, like I said. The way it has been, uh, the apps is organized is correct as it is in the iOS. And even if you look over here at the top, you can see this. And even if you go to the app library, we have so many things over here in the app library, which is giving you a complete format of how it's been successfully looks like to the iOS 17 originally. And even if you see the app library, the phone and the way it has been organized is correct. And as you can see, it's all good in the same way. Now, if you go back to the same, if you go back to adding the widget, we have many more options over here. So if you go to the bottom, you can see the battery clock. And if you go to the bottom, you can see edit option. If you tap on it, you'll be getting the options. Even you can add the widgets. If you go over here, you'll be getting all the widgets we can wanted to add. We can even add the Google, uh, uh, YouTube can be added. The music can be added. Even many more things can be added successfully. So I'll be adding this one. So I have to go for add widget. Right now it's been added. So I have to create it and now it's been created. So uh, this also looks same way as it is and it's one of the best two launches you can be used in your Android. And even when you're deleting it, it works all fine with this. And also if you wanted to delete any kind of apps, which is quite simple, all you have to do is just press and hold like this. So uh, if you press and hold it, now as you can see, it's all uh, can be seen over here. You can remove the wanted apps and unwanted apps from here very easily. And if you want to delete it, it is possible. So I'm not going to go for delete anything because it looks very comfortable for me. But if you are getting really pissed off, you can delete the apps. So you can go over here and uh, let me go over here in the done so that I'm removing it completely. So this is what you have to do. And these are the two best launches which can be used right now for the iOS 17, which is trending and it's going to come officially in the September. You can use this in front of your friends and boast in, uh, boast in front of others by showing you this particular gimmick says your Android being turned into an iPhone. So uh, I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.